good morning and a warm welcome to this uh, conclave uh, unfortunately professor uh, uh, sridhar ayer who is the uh, currently uh, uh, officiating head of the cd is about to come but i thought we will uh, start the proceedings uh, i will request uh, uh, professor kaliyappan our associate dean of r&d to come and preside over this small 15 minute initial pal ha uh, you can come and sit since the major national mission projects as well as the mooks activities work under the umbrella of computer science and engineering department uh, my colleague and my boss professor sudarshan head of the computer science department is here i would just like to request him to come and welcome you on behalf of the department thank you professor far as you can see he he loves to embarrass me no end by calling me his <laughs> boss <laughs> he is a person who recruited me here um, but it's nice to um, have all of you here uh, i'd like to give you a warm welcome uh, the welcome is a little cooler than in the la last few days uh, so we have arranged a good weather for all of you to be here <laughs> um so it's a uh, you know very interesting juncture which we are in today uh, where you know you're talking about moocs and blended moocs but the story is actually a lot bigger than that technology has enabled a completely different way of doing things across so many areas uh, you know banking uh, you know exam uh, results whatever you name it technology has changed things the part which it has affected least is us as teachers you can do certain things uh, online and grading of certain forms online but there are limits today to what you can do and that's where blended moocs plays a major role to beat those limits but that doesn't mean that we should be happy with just blended moocs because there's a lot more interesting things which can be done for example uh, if uh, today how do we run je or uh, that advanced je or whatever else it's multiple choice questions you uh, darken a circle or something and that's a silly way of assessing somebody's knowledge you should be able to assess the design how can can this person write a program can this person uh, you know design a circuit there are so many things which one would like to test for and that is something which is graded by humans today but going forward it would be nice to have all of this automated so i think we are at a juncture where people are looking at these issues can you take something free form like a program or a design and grade it not necessarily just 0 1 is it working or not working but even with partial marks and so forth can you tailor a uh, learning thing to individual students uh, which is an idea which is very old i mean if you see computer games which are kids play for the last 20 years almost they have had such features uh, where they are uh, given more training and slowly moved up but that is something which is totally lacking in our system as at colleges i'm sure it's true in your place as much as it is in iit we have some students who are struggling some students who are bored that's not a good situation can we use technology to fix this so there's a lot of very interesting challenges and i think um, uh, you know many of you might be from computer science or electrical engineering departments and this is a research agenda for us to work on and this is something which many of uh, us in, you know you and us here at iit uh are at in a you know good position to address because of the scale of things that we have in india which is vastly more than anywhere else and the shortage of a uh, good faculty that we have which other countries do not feel so much so i think this is a very good challenge for india and i hope that uh, you know many of you and us will be working on this so uh, with that uh, let me uh, hand it back and uh, you know hope you have a very productive and useful time during the workshop here <laughs> okay uh i am very happy to introduce uh, uh, professor sridhar ayer as i mentioned some time ago he is currently the officiating head of cd but we know him more because of his extraordinary work in research in pedagogy of education blending online and the other things along with professor sahana murthy our other colleague he has been single handedly persuading that activity in our educational technology department i think at one time uh, he was formally guiding eight phd students and informally guiding 14 others i do not know how it is he still do that 
So, you would just like to say hello to them, that sort of thing. Yeah, um, thank you for uh, being here today. And uh, some of the things that we would be also talking about later on as the MOOCs go on is how to ensure that your students are actively engaged with the material. So, that is the research which Professor Fartak was mentioning that how to, even though it is a distance mode and even though students may be remote, we do want to ensure that they are all engaged with the curriculum and not just looking at it just before the exam and things like that. So, there are a lot of small things which instructors can do which can improve the learning gain of the course significantly. So, some of that we will be talking about later. Thank you, Professor Sridhar. May I now request uh, Professor Kalyappan to formally welcome you. Professor Sudarshan, Professor Sridhar Iyer, uh, faculty colleagues, students, MOOCs team, and all the distinguished guests. It is indeed a great pleasure to welcome all of you to this conclave of blended <laughs> MOOCs. Okay, so I am not a computer scientist. I am not a software engineer. So, so first of all, I will make my point clear. <laughs> so, I only use computer for our protein use. But still, technology plays a very important role in all our day-to-day -day activities. Further, as you know, technology also evolves over decades. If you can recall, in 60s and 70s, we were all obsessed with transistors. So, then it moved to tape recorder, then to TV and now we know where we are. So, every day you see ads on smartphones and how this can be used. In fact, our kids are telling what we are using is uh, highly outdated. So, likewise, in teaching also, technology plays a very important role. So, we were using blackboards, still we continue to use. Then we moved to whiteboards. Then we used transparencies using projectors and so overhead projectors, now we have laptop with a projector. Okay. So, how the technology is helping our students and teachers. So, this is where our CDIP and distant education program helps a lot. And in olden days, when we miss a lecture, that's it, we, we miss a lecture. When you have to depend on your best friend, uh, who may not be best student, so whatever <laughs> He learned from him, we have to understand. Now things are not like that, isn't it? So things have improved. It's like TV. So you wanted to watch a program and you could not. Now we have Tata Sky, we have Dish TV, so you can record and whenever you want, whenever you are free, you can go and then watch. The same way, this is what MOOCs has done. You can listen to the best teachers in profession sitting in remote corner. Okay, and also whenever you want. And when you have doubt, again you can go back and then listen. So, this is the technology which has helped teachers as well as students from remote areas. So, IIT Bombay has taken up several uh, national mission projects and this is one of the important initiatives from IIT Bombay. And Professor Fatak has done many such national, national projects. And I always, you know, uh, appreciate his bubbling enthusiasm uh, in whatever you do and his bubbling enthusiasm is highly contagious. It percolates down to all his uh, team members and you can see how active uh, they are. So, and um, IIT Bombay is very keen and we will continue to support whatever possible to support such activities. On behalf of IIT Bombay, I wish this conclave a grand success and I am sure this will also decide the future course of action of uh, blended moves. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to all of you and have a nice day. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Professor Kleb. So, before uh, handing over the mic to all participants to briefly introduce yourselves, I will request each one to just mention the name, uh, the uh, current position and the name of the institution. We will keep it short. The idea is that while all of us have names of everyone, we would like to attach a face to that name. So, when I, I, when I request my colleague to move the mic around, uh, instead of facing the dais, I would appreciate if the person faces the group, so that they all can see that person very clearly. I would only like to add to what Professor Kaliyappan says. Undoubtedly, today for the first time in the history, you can unwind a lecturer and listen to him again, which is not possible in a conventional classroom. But the fact that Anybody can 
see it at any time often means at no time one sees it. So, although the conventional classroom method and teaching is under stress, but there is no denying that that method actually enforces a discipline of a time sequence during which a large number of students come together, necessarily work together either in the classroom or in the labs and interact with each other. And there is an undoubted great element of learning that happens because of that. An online, completely online teaching in my opinion is not adequate because it removes the synchronous and spontaneous human interaction that our current system permits. And this effort is nothing but trying to get, on the other hand, we know the great things that online education brings to the table. So this is an attempt to actually bring both these systems together, what I call mainstreaming the MOOCs onto our normal education. And I am convinced that this cannot happen unless there is a recognition of the formal system, whatever limited little way that MOOC's work is as important for the students as their work in our normal teaching. So this is the attempt. Uh, without further ado, I will request my colleague to uh, move the mic. Uh, may I request? Good morning. I am Malikarjan Babu, Principal, BMS College of Engineering, Bangalore. Good morning. I am Dr. Anil Kumar Nasa. I am Member Secretary, National Board of Accreditation. Good morning. I am Pradeep Verma. I am currently an advisor with NBA. Um, uh, Professor N.K. Roy from NIT Durgapur, Associate Dean Academic. Kamal Bichlani, uh, Director Amrita E-Learning. Uh, B.S. Umre, uh, RC Coordinator, VNIT Nagpur. I'm Shekhar Bhule, I'm Dean Academic Matters at Yashwantrao Chauhan College of Engineering, Nagpur. I am Sanjeev Tokekar from Devi Elev Shuddhalai Institute of Engineering Technology, Indore. I am Professor M.K. Jha from Moody University. I am the Associate Dean of Engineering. Good morning. I am Professor K.V. Gangadharan, Professor and Head Mechanical from NADK Suratkar. Good morning, I'm Uday Joshi from Somaya Engineering College, a former he formal head of Computer and IT Department. Good morning, this is Vijay uh, Ramaraju uh, from Gokraja Rangaraja Institute of Engineering and Technology, TECIP coordinator and the RC coordinator from Hyderabad. Yes, sir, good morning. Myself, Manjuna Chari from Gita University, Hyderabad. Good morning. Myself, Shomar Brutu Shaha, Remote Center Coordinator of GIS College of Engineering, West Bengal. Good morning to all of you. Myself, Parsha from Charuset, Gujarat, heading IT department. Good morning, all of you. I'm Dr. Ravindra Babu, Professor and Head CSC Department, VNR Vignan Jyoti, Hyderabad. Uh, good morning to all. I am CSR K. Prasad from NIT Warangal, looking after Dean Alumni Affairs. Good morning to one and all. I am Dr. P. Maran, Remote Center Coordinator, Thyagarajar College of Engineering, Madurai, Tamil Nadu. Good morning. I am Gopal, Professor in Charge for Curriculum Development, SRM University, Chennai. Good morning. I am Dr. Binendra Singh. I am Director, NIT, Manipur, at IMPA. Good morning, one and all. I'm Dr. Preeti, Head of Electronics Department and Deputy Dean Academics at MIT University, Haryana. Good morning. I'm the Remote Center Coordinator coming from SJ College of Engineering. I'm also heading the Electrical Department. My name is R.S. Anand Murthy. I'm Dr. Shalindra Kumar Shastra from Samrat Asuk Technological Institute Engineering College, Vidisha. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Dr. Rahul Chaugule. I am Associate Professor in uh, Mechanical Engineering Department from Walshan College of Engineering, Sangli. 
मैसेल डॉक्टर संजीव जैन वर्किंग एज अ डायरेक्टर माधव इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंस ग्वालियर गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डी ए मेहता प्रोफेसर एंड हेड कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट जी एस आई टी एस इंदौर गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम सुषमा कुलकर्णी फ्रॉम राजा राम बापू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम डायरेक्टर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ वॉशिम आरिफ आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग इन आई टी सिल्चर एंड आई एम प्रेजेंटली द रिमोट सेंटर कोर्डिनेटर ऑफ दैट सेंटर मुकदेश अली अहमद फ्रॉम एन आई टी सिल्चर आई एम द डीन स्टूडेंट वेलफेयर थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम मुर्गानंदन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड एप्लीकेशन पेरियार मणियामे यूनिवर्सिटी तमिलनाडु Good morning. I am B N Chowdhury, Professor of Electrical and Dean Quality Assurance, College of Engineering, Pune. Good morning. My name is Chandra Sekar Sevatkar. I am from College of Engineering, Pune, Faculty in Mechanical Engineering. Hi, I am Mohit Patel. I work as Vice President, Arc University in Gujarat. Good morning, everyone. I am uh, Hirendra Mishra, Associate Dean, Computer Engineering Department Head uh, in Mukesh Patel School of Technology Management and Engineering, and I am at University of Mumbai. Good morning. I am GP Bhole from VJTI. I am a remote center coordinator and I am from computer engineering and IT department. Good morning. I am uh, Mr. Sunil Kore from Walchand College of Engineering. Uh, I am a remote center coordinator and dean academics in Walchand College of Engineering. I am Dr. Usha, uh, professor of computer science and engineering and dean of R&D, Sona College of Technology, Salem, Tamil Nadu. Good morning, everyone and all. I am Dr. T. Ravidi, heading IT department in the Mukeshwaran Engineering College, Sivagasi, and I am also a RC coordinator. Good morning. I am Shubhendu Guhaniyogi from Sarpatampa Singhani University, Udaipur. I am assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering and head ICT. Thank you. Good morning. I am Dr. Saravanan, principal of Banari Man Institute of Technology, Satya Mangalam. Uh, good morning. I am Bala Murugan. Dean School of Communication and Computer Sciences, Kongu Engineering College, and also the Executive Director of the Technology Business Incubator in the campus. Good morning. I am Dr. Ratnavel, a Vice Principal and Head of Computer Science and Engineering, uh, Dr. Magalingam College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. Good morning. My name is Shivakumar, RC Coordinator, PhD College of Technology, Coimbatore. Hello. Good morning. My name is Dr. Manoj Kumar Deshpande. I am associate dean of uh, Mukesh Patel School of Technology Management and Engineering, NMIMS uh, Shirpur campus. Good morning, myself Harshad Gune. I am deputy director of Simbas Institute of Computer Studies from Pune. Good morning to you all. This is Dr. Prasanna Kumar, principal of SVP College of Engineering, Vishakhapatnam. Good morning to one and all. I am Dr. Sanjay Kumar, associate professor from Gayatri Vijayapasad College of Engineering, Vishakhapatnam. Thank you. Good morning to all. I am Professor Lalji Prasad, RC Coordinator and Head of Department, CS and IT Department uh, from Truba College of Engineering, Indore. Good morning. Uh, I am Parth Sharthi Malik, uh, working for the Valor Institute of Technology as the Dean of School of Electrical Engineering. Thank you. Good morning to all. I am Dr. Ilangu from KS Rangasamy College of Technology, Tirchangu, Tamil Nadu, Akash Coordinator and RC Coordinator of our college. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I am Dr. Rakesh Singhai, coming from RGPV Bhopal, working as a registrar. And prior to that, I am the I was the head of the electronics department there. Good morning. This is Prashant Borkar, Dean MIS, GH Raisuni College of Engineering, Nagpur. Good morning, myself Shumon Dev from National Institute of Technology, Agartala. I am Associate Dean and also the RC. Thank you. A uh, very good morning, friends. I am Dr. Gopal Mugara, Director of NIT Agartala, Tripura District. Good morning. I am Sunil Sarangi, Director of NIT Raurkala. Uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to very briefly introduce uh, portions of our team. We have a very large team working on various national projects, as Professor Kalyapan mentioned. You see only a glimpse of that. Uh, so, uh, where do I begin? Let me begin with our. Uh, T10KT workshop coordination team led by Dr. Mukta Atre. You might have been in touch with her anyway. She has her team uh, sitting there, Kanan, and can you just raise hands? And Sirsa and Mahendra. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Kalpana Kannan who heads our contents group in uh, uh, MOOCs related courses. 
uh, Jaya, who is our finance minister. Uh, she is the one responsible for handing over checks for your TFS today. So I think she is an important person. She also pays the salary for all our staff and so on. Of course, it is approved by the dean, but the pay paperwork has to be handled. Uh, we have uh, uh, Sajjan Dixit, who is head of our video team. So all the recordings of our courses and AVU, etc., etc., is handled by his team. You see some of them here. Uh, we also have a logistics team, which is not represented here. It primarily handled Akash project related activities. Now I come back to the MOOCs and start with the uh, smallest end work that is detailed work. So detailed work of contents is handled by Kalpana's team as I mentioned. Uh, we have uh, Parag Tiwari heads our uh, MOOCs related software development for essentially for what we call the big data analytics cloud and other things and also part of the MIS activities. So a small team under him which works for MIS, uh, Tushar, Manali and Amita, if you just stand up, these are the three people who handle this. Yeah. Uh, the main task of the IIT Bombay X platform development and its operations are handled. Uh, the operations are handled by our sysadmin group. We have three or four system administrators who manage the cloud and the local servers led by Abhilash. Uh, but the main task, as I said, of the IIT Bombay X uh, platform, for your information, IIT Bombay X is a platform which is built on top of the open source open EDX platform. And it has been Indianized in the sense that we have added a whole lot of Indian language capabilities for the static pages. For the courses that we offer, for example, course contents have been dubbed into Hindi and are available. Our idea is that multiple Indian languages uh, should be possible to be used for these courses for the benefit of others the long. Now that effort is headed by, uh, that software development effort is headed by Aparna Pansare. Aparna Pansare's group is not here, but there is another group which is working collaterally, which also handles the T10KT related uh, websites and others. And that is uh, uh, led by Shweta. Shweta, can you just say hello to them? Okay. Now the entire software effort, as you know, cannot be handled even by senior software specialists. You require somebody to lead the whole effort. Similarly, for coordinating various documentation and various activities, we require somebody who is other than all these things. I am very fortunate to have two of my personal close friends for decades, but as advisors on these national mission projects. So one is uh, Prakash Vaidya, who, who helps us coordinate all kinds of activities as related to their workflow and documentation. And the most pers important person perhaps in the team is Mr. Avinash Aute. Uh, he actually heads our entire software development group per se. So even the, the teams which work independent of his group, I will always seek his advice to find out what is right and wrong. He is very good at pointing out what is wrong in anything that you present to him. He is an alumnus of IIT Bombay. He worked as a very senior executive in Tata Consultancy Services several years ago. Uh, he took voluntary retirement to do social work. You will be surprised to know that his penchant is for education even when he was working in TCS. And the social work that he started was to coach underprivileged family students into joint entrance exam coach. So I said, why, why don't you do an additional social work by advising us when those students come to IIT, what do they do? So that is how he joined us. He has been an advisor with us. And of course, I mean, as a stalwart of TCS, there are very few people like him who can understand issues in software. He is the one who personally supervised the uh, Indianization of the open source platform. He is the one who is busy developing the platform for the next stage for the blended MOOCs, which will be delivered later. But when I said we want to do this thing in a hurry, he and his team and all the other people have worked to bring this quickly together. Dr. Subhadra is here. Uh, Subhadra has been my colleague for over 40 years. She is actually the chief 
system administrator for the Department of Computer Science. And as I said, it's the Department of Computer Science which helps us and supports us. So she works constantly with Abhilash's team. Incidentally, the mini cloud that we have set up here is based on mostly open source technologies. And we would like those of your institutions who are interested in setting up this similar infrastructure at your places. So most welcome to actually see this and take it. We release IIT Bombay X code is also available on GitHub as open source. So you can just download it, change the thing to your own institution and start using it. You can do the same thing with OpenEDX.